Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. In today's video, I want to talk about 10 things I wish I had knew before attending music college, university, conservatoire. The first thing I want to mention here is how important English is. So when I started my studies, we were only two German girls in my whole year and the rest of the students were international students. And it was so much easier to communicate in English because some of them just started to learn German. Actually, if you don't really want to learn the language and you just want to get information, it's so much easier to do it in a language you can speak already. And that's why, like, I think in my first year, I didn't speak German in any course I did, except of the teacher wanted us to speak German. Of course, like, the theoretical lessons were all in German, and I know a lot of students who were struggling with the language. But when you communicate privately with the students, it was normally only in English, except you knew they were German or they wanted to speak to you in German. And also when I came to university, my English was kind of shit and I learned a lot of communicating with these other people in English and I was really surprised because like from every international student I knew the English was better than mine and that was something I was really feeling uncomfortable about. I know I had this situation in my first week of university. I was sitting down in the canteen next to a table with other students and they were talking in German. And then another student came and was sitting down to this table and they immediately switched the conversation to perfect English. And I was actually like so impressed that like everybody switched to English and they just had like the same conversation as before, but in English and it was just like, Oh wow, and they didn't seem bothered or something and coming like from a German school where you only speak English in your English lessons. It was like such a new experience for me and I became like this person switching from German to English at the canteen table in the upcoming years. But it was like so new for me before I attended the university. And that's also one tip for the international students. Don't be afraid. So many German people, like I think everybody who is going to a music university knows English. And if you have any problems, you can normally also communicate in English. It shouldn't be a problem. The second point that I want to talk about is that your practicing will change over time and it will change constantly. And when I compare my practicing when I went to school and now it's the complete opposite, I would say. Like, actually, you have more time to practice, of course, when you're going to university because you don't have all this school stuff. And of course, it's like a more important um, thing in your life now. Um, but how drastically you have to adapt to your new lifestyle with your practice and also how your practicing will adapt your lifestyle um, is something I didn't think about it and that's something that will constantly develop like my practicing routine in this year with my with my teacher now is so much different than it used to be when I started university or during my university in Germany it will change constantly one thing I also want to say is don't compare your practice times I didn't knew that before, but I was then talking during my studies with other people and we had this room booking system called Azimut. And I know that a lot of music colleges are using it. And here at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama London, they're also having this Azimut system. And you can easily see how much people are booking the rooms and how much they are practicing. But the thing is, just because you booked a room, that doesn't mean that you have like an effective practice or that you're like practicing in that room. And in the my first year, I was like always comparing my room bookings to other room bookings. And if I was seeing like on a Saturday afternoon, oh my God, this guy who came at eight o'clock on Saturday to practice, um, I also have to put in six hours of room booking because he did it and I don't want to look like, oh, you only practice two hours a day. Because actually, 
nobody cares how much you practice and your practice is so individual and I wouldn't compare my practice with anyone anymore. Then of course, don't compare yourself with other people who didn't have the same education as you. When I started Guildhall here, the I think it was the music director was saying a quote by Mark Twain, comparison is the death of all joy. And he's completely right. And I think it's really, really hard not to compare yourself to other people. And it was especially hard for me. And that's also my second point. Don't feel pressured to do any orchestras, auditions or competitions just because other people are doing them. Your time will come. And I know that there are a lot of teachers out there um, who are sometimes putting a lot of pressure on their students to do some competitions or auditions. And I was really lucky with my teacher in Berlin because she didn't pressured us if we suggested one thing we want to do she was really honest with us and um told us what she's thinking about that and um how she's seeing our um possibilities and so on and also don't do a competition or an audition where you're not feeling ready for don't feel that you have to do it because the other people are doing it especially if you're not feeling that you want to win this audition and don't do it for the experience. I wouldn't recommend that. And um, because I was once doing an audition where I knew I don't want to win this thing. I just did it because a friend asked me to do it. And it was actually so bad because I was just like, okay, I want to play the first round, but I don't have the energy and I don't want to play in the second round. So now play like a first round that you're not getting into the second round, but it's also not um embarrassing so no never again don't do it there will always be somebody better than you and you just have to accept that if it's not in your class it will be in the whole conservatoire or in the next conservatoire and you just have to figure out what's your personality and what makes you to a musician and why you are doing this not because you were always the best in your class or something there is actually this one youtube video out there where this guy is recommending that you are applying to a music college or university and um, where you're like in the top third of the class but i think that's totally unrealistic because normally when you're applying to a music college or university you don't know the class really well and you can't see like in your application progress if you're going to be in the top third of the class so that's a little bit an unrealistic advice i think maybe that's like the ideal version of your study place but it's not manageable to do it like that but he's kind of right like i learned a lot of my classmates who were playing better than me and i also learned a lot of people who were struggling with other issues than i had that's like kind of win-win situation so don't be afraid if there's somebody better than you because you can always learn from them other music students are also normal people i know this sounds a little bit ridiculous but when i was leaving my little bavarian village and went to music university i had a stereotype in my brain that other music students are just like practicing 40 hours in their room and are not doing normal things out there but there are these stereotypes and some of them are true, but and the majority of music students are just normal people like you and me and they also have different interests. They just have a passion for classical music as you do, but it doesn't mean that they are not interested in movies, in books, in going to the club, seeing their friends um, and all these other fun stuff that's out there. And I think that's good to know. Facebook groups are really important. I didn't really knew how important Facebook in other countries are. So basically like in Germany, normally Facebook is only used from parents now, like younger people don't use Facebook anymore. For international students, it's really, really, really common. And actually there are so many Facebook groups out there from international students and also from the student union and so on, where you can just ask questions or you can see people advertising their apartments in the groups or teaching possibilities or um, they're selling music stuff or anything and everything over these Facebook groups. So it's just worth 
first checking if your university has a group about it and then just joining them. Music, university, colleges, conservatoires are kind of a bubble. Everybody who is going there is experiencing the same things. And because you only met people who are doing the same thing, you are like drifting off in this kind of like an, another universe. And it's good to have friends um, and relationships and contacts in the other world. At this point, I had to stop filming the video and I forgot to film an outro. And now you can enjoy myself eight hours later. That's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.